Hello and thanks for joining me on Sport Pilot Ships. Glory on another exciting episode of Sport Vibe on DNT World Cup. bringing you exciting and latest sport happenings across the world of sport every Tuesday. This week won't be an exception, so I would implore you to please stay tuned because we'll be right back shortly after this break. Welcome back to a beautiful Tuesday afternoon and today we'll be having some quick recap of the sporting activities and happenings that took place during the week and during the weekend particularly last month and across the European competition where we talk about club European competition in the world of sports and we'll be starting from the major one that took place during the weekend where we saw Real Madrid defeating Borussia Dortmund in the finals of the UEFA Champions League at Wembley two goals to zero to win it for their 15th time in the club history before now Real Madrid had the most successful team in the UEFA Champions League having won it 14th time and now they have been able to defeat Borussia Dortmund to win it yet again for the 15th time is the award and their competition is the UEFA Champions League we are only witnessing them doing it over and over again and the last time that Real Madrid had lost in the finals of the UEFA Champions League was in the year 1981 or what Real Madrid does and in the competition UEFA Champions League is to win it if you want to stop Real Madrid from winning the UEFA Champions League stop them from getting to the finals because once they do make it to the finals they will be winning it for sure in the competition and talking about one of the European competition in club football you talk about the Europa League remember that last month we witnessed so many dramas in the Europa League Bayern Leverkusen continued their undefeated run before meeting Atlanta in the finals of the Europa League where they were defeated by Atlanta three goals to zero and we saw Ademola Lukman becoming the first player in the competition of the Europa League to score three goals in the finals of the competition. Ademola Lukman helped Atlanta to secure their second trophy ever in the club history by defeating the undefeated Bayern Leverkusen at the finals of the competition. This is a exciting one for Atlanta who will be facing Real Madrid in the Super League at the beginning of next season and talking about one of the european competition also we talk about uefa conference league where we saw olympiacos defeating florentina in the finals of the competition on an extra time remember that florentina were defeated by west ham last season in the finals of that competition it has been a back-to-back -back defeat for florentina who lost again to the greek side olympiacos as Olympiacos becomes the first Greek side to win the Europa competition in the world of football. And talking about Real Madrid, we can fail to talk about their manager, Carlo Ancelotti, who was able to win the UEFA Champions League for the fifth time as a manager. Having done that, winning the UEFA Champions League twice with AC Milan, Carlos Ancelotti, the former manager of Everton, has been able to win the UEFA Champions League three times with Real Madrid to make it five times that he has won that as a manager and he becomes the first manager to win the UEFA Champions League five times quite an exciting one and an exciting talent where you talk about Carlos and Solotti who has managed so many clubs his spell at Everton was not successful but returning back to Real Madrid he has been able to show to us that he still has it in him after leading Real Madrid to an undefeated competition the only defeat that Real Madrid has suffered this season was against the arrival Atletico Madrid and that means Real Madrid were only defeated 
defeated all throughout the season twice by Atletico Madrid an exciting team full of so many talents and also we'll be getting some reports that Kylian Mbappe will be joining them next season was is Real Madrid planning I think they are on their verge of winning the UEFA Champions League for the 16th time quickly let's go on a very short break and when we're right back we continue from where we stop Welcome back and continuing from where we stopped talking about Kylian Mbappe signing for Real Madrid as a free agent. He'll be playing for the Galacticos. Remember that team already have so many talents where we have Vinicius Jr., we have Jude Bellingham, we have Rodrigo and we have some mature players where we talk about Lucas Modric. Tony Cruz has decided that he'll be leaving Real Madrid and he'll be quitting football after the Euro 2024 with Germany and also we have Alaba in that particular team. They will be adding Mbappe to the attacking threat in the world of football. Real Madrid must be up to doing something in the Spanish La Liga. Remember that Real Madrid are up to something definitely for the UEFA Champions League and in the La Liga. We did continue to dominate the La Liga. Remember they were able to win the Spanish La Liga last season and I'm sure Barcelona fans will be happy with Kylian Mbappe joining Real Madrid but they have something to hope for under their new management and see Flick as he will be managing Barcelona next season will he be able to fight for the Spanish La Liga next season we also have Diego Simeone fighting for that particular trophy next season it's going to be an exciting competition to watch between Ansi Flick and Carlos Ancelotti next season and also talking about managers we can feel to talk about the special one Hossein Mourinho who has decided to take on a new chapter after being sacked by AS Roma he has decided to manage the Turkish side Fanal Bache Fanal Bache who were able to finish second position in the Turkish league behind Galatasaray on 99 points a whole 99 points for Fanal Bache last season but they were unable to win the Turkish league last season with Usain Mourinho be able to bring them the glory that they deserve. Remember, Usain Mourinho is a serial winner after winning so many trophies in the Premier League and coaching the likes of Manchester United, Chelsea and Tottenham Hotspur where he was unable to win a trophy. But you remember, he has won so many trophies in his career where you talk about the likes of the Champions League, the Premier League. Will he be able to add to his trophy cabinet by winning the Turkish league with Fenerbahce and also an interest Interesting one is that the former manager of Chelsea will talk about Antonio Conte has been appointed as the new manager of Napoli to make a difference in the Italian Serie A. Ah, the Italian manager will be taking charge of Napoli from next season and quite an interesting one again in the world of football talking about an individual personnel in the world of football who has been doing very well as an individual but one thing that is missing in his career is a trophy we talk about Harry Kane who has won the European Golden Boot finishing ahead of Kylian Mbappe this season he has been able to add another Golden Boot to his collection remember he was able to win the Golden Boot in the Premier League he has won the golden boots in the world cup now he has added the european golden boots to his collection when will harry kane be winning a trophy in his career this is the length at which we'll be going on this week episode of sport vibe on dnt work for more news and sports stories follow us across our various social media handles sport vibe on dnt work see you next week thank you